Hello, my name is Spraggy. I'm a professional poker player, and I'm lucky enough to ply my trade on the wonderful platform of online poker. But back in the day, things were a little bit different. I'm talking the Wild West. I'm talking the New Frontier. I'm talking gambling in a saloon, playing No Limit Holder with Wild Bill Hickok. Well, today we're playing one of the oldest tournaments on PokerStars. So we're going back to the saloon. We're going back for a sort out. We're going back to the final table of the Big 109. Folks, it's not, it's not gone well here in the Big 109, is it? We're down to four bigs. Good luck. Help me, Ace King. You're my only hope. All right. Okay. 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 Still feel good about it or what? Yeah, I think so. It's checking down too. That's got to be a good sign, right? Nice. Make your mind up. I ain't got all day. This guy's trying to time bank into the money for me. You love to see it. This is a noble player here, folks. This is a studied guy. Get him out. Get him walking. Uh, we're going for it against Queen Six, apparently, in the big one on nine to spin into the tournament. And we've done so. Oh boy. Two raises. Pisanio all in. 27 left in the big one on nine. I've got kings. What a huge part. What a huge part. Well, well, well. This is a monster pot. Well over 100,000 chips. This is to be a top five stack, because we ain't folding the tens, of course. We're against ace three. Ah, you love to see it. We're even holding against jack eight. We're holding against the ace three. We scooped a lot. The big one on nine is go-go Kai, my friends. Oh my goodness. Cowboy's in the saloon as well. Another all in. 15 blinds effective. That's me all in too, my friends. I'm all in as well. Hey, you like me now? You want some of this chew? Four of 22, you want some of this chew? Wisely moves out of the way. Ace 10 calls, ace 10 calls. And ace 10 will bust. We are absolutely cooking in the big one on nine. <laughs> yeah, boy. I have defended, I'm two of six. The only person who covers me is the button. And he bets pot, and I have a queen and a clubs. He bets pot three ways? New technology? What's the play here? Take a river? Does he have a full house? Man, does he have pocket fours? No, I'm just a luck box. Ace 10. He really milked me, huh? And I've made a good hand at the river. That I have. That's a big raise, isn't it? God, I'm disciplined. Not really though. Not really. Raise again with the ace jack. One of 14. Whatever, sure, I'll bet. Sure, okay. Obviously a spot here where I have the ace of diamonds a lot. He's gonna have to call some diamonds, like any diamond that he gets here with. So I think we'll just like take our bet on turn and, and not go this thin on the river. And then I guess, yeah, jack of diamonds, showdown. Win. And we're blindly blind against chip leader. No, chip leader's me. Hey, hang on a minute. There are only nine people at this table. Well, my friends, you know what that means. It means that this is your final table. And here we are in the saloon on the final table, ready to play for it all. I really don't know if I just three bet again, three bet fold this again or what. Hey, my kicker plays again. I got aces, kings, and a queen kicker. It's actually a kind of nice river. Although they're going to have a king sometimes. They're also going to have ace, ten, ace, jack sometimes, right? I think I raise versus his size. You know that? Although I don't really have a king very often when I check back. Am I allowed to raise? Do they still have a king in this size? I feel like they just have ace, jack a lot. Shove it up. And we've got our first all in on the FT. Kings against ace, ten. It was short, but kings against ace, ten for a spin back in. And he's got an ace on the flop. And he has eliminated in eighth place. I've just done a naughty, naughty thing. I've defended eight dudes, and the flop is eight, eight, five on the final table. What a turn card. I mean, I think I could just overbet. Obviously, we expect him to bet here naturally, like quite a lot. But might pot control too much for my taste on the final table. I still feel like he just has ace, ten, a bunch, and just didn't want to bet turns because he didn't want to get chip raised on an FT. To be honest. For sure that's what happened. And now he just thinks I always have it when I do this. Might be true. Maybe it's true. I'm actually just going to check back ace 10 on the turn and fold the river. And I just win nothing. It's sick really. I should just overbet turn over bet river. I really should. Ho. 
I have flopped quads. Look at all of my cards. I have all of the cards. I have so many cards, you wouldn't believe it. This is a great spot for me because my opponent is going to have tens, queens, kings, and aces in their range that are quite happy to go for multiple streets against me in the big blind. I would very much enjoy an all-in at the river from my opponent with, say, well, I don't care what they have, but they could just have aces, you know? They could just have ace-ace or king-king or queen-queen. They have checked. They checked back with aces. But they could just have aces. I mean, I guess I'm defending very wide in the big blind. It's very easy for me to have a jack. I got a lot of jack X combos and I don't have that many pair combos. It's not like he can go three streets against pocket tens because I just three back call it, right? He's not going to go three streets against pocket six or sevens because I might jam pre. I might just fold river. So when he jams here with, you know, one pot, probably I just have quads too often, don't I? I don't really think there's a lot else we can do. I don't think we really want to play any raises, but maybe that's not true if he's checking back aces. But we win the pot, but on another day against some other players, definitely 98,000 chips more in my stack. Were you involved in foot? I know you were involved in football. Were you ever in any all-star team like that? I, I, I absolutely love Grog's belief in me, confidence in me, support of the channel, support of me. When I say I used to play football, I was, I played for Tetbury Town Reserves, which are a, a, an English 17th, it's basically a pub team. And Grog's asking whether I ever represented England at football. There is an all-in from the duck. The duck has sent it. Elmrix has called with the bluff catcher and the duck has a six, which means that we're down to six players. Guaranteed $1,163. Meanwhile, in final table land, we're double barreling with six high. We do pick up a little bit, bit of equity on the turn and additional three outs to the straight. We can benefit from folding out some ace high. And since we have six high, it's generally good when my opponent folds. Plus we can make a spade, you know? Come with me, let's see what Vokas got up to. What did you do, bruv? What did you do? You moved all in. The player in the big blind called. They had aces, you had queen nine. You've made a 10 on the turn. Boom, holds the sweat with a spade. But that does mean that Vokas eliminates the aces enjoyer in uh, sixth place. We, we guarantee ourselves at least fifth place money. Nut job in the chat says, Spraggy, do you actually think Parker will ever win a live MTT? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. I There's that guy. What a crazy dude. Recent performance. Second place in Paris, not Prague, Paris. Second place in Paris for $360,000. Can you useless this guy? Absolutely useless. Second place for $360,000. May not have bought, shouldn't have bothered playing. In the 5K in Prague, he came third. In, in, in the mixed game, in the 1100 euro mixed game, he came fourth. We're value betting our 10 and our nine. What do you got, ace high? It's very hard for them to bluff here. They have to turn ace high into a bluff, check back flop. Whenever there's a spot that relies on someone like raising in position with ace high or a pair, they don't take the bluff, right? Uh, actually just had ace seven here, made a seven at the river. Maybe it was considered raising versus my block. Probably not though. And we're having a three bet again against Vokas, who eventually is gonna raise fold something to me. One day. I'm a little bit concerned that he's raising into the guy with 530k and with me on the button. Probably got quite a tight range, but we can still apply some pressure to a tight range. <laughs> sure. F me, right, Vokas? Just fall back me every hand, huh? F me, right? Vokas all in again. Gets it through. Seven deuce on the button. It's a no for me. It's a no from me. Uh, and Ray's calling nines on the FT. I think I'm happy to fall about this. It's honestly pretty f sad. That's good, because he's pretty polar when he does this, right? Like, he either has aces, kings, or he has, like, ace three off, right? So, you got, like, a four bet. Just because, like, calling a position, even though he has this range, kind of stinky. 
600,000 chip leaders just jamming the button, applying the pressure to those in search of the ladder. And it's a call with king queen. It's behind to a7. Flops king high. Long way back, that is the nut flush. And we're down to four players. $2,151 locked up. It's freezing cold in here. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. All right, nine blinds, 16 blinds, 31 blinds, 66 blinds. A lot of pressure coming in from my left because Vokas is shorter than me. But I guess I can try to limp. And probably continue. Great flop with uh, two pots remaining. We are going to check raise small. These guys also played that weird hand, right? Where Vokas three bet the flop. I think it's a really nice hand just to make four blinds. And obviously run with it. They folded to my chat raise. They fold to my jam. We're winning both pots. And we're up to 254,000 here after the little chat raise on the flop. Got the ace of hearts. Going to stop them continuing a little bit. I'm not opening very wide on the button, so I've got strong hands mostly. Obviously pretty sad to get chat raised when we have ace eight high despite the ace of hearts. Um, sure. Sure. Man, what do we do here? Are we supposed to fold and let Vokas potentially bust and we ladder up $800? Probably not. Good luck, Vokas. Good luck, buddy. Uh-oh. I don't like the tissues. I could be in trouble. Flip! Fair fight! Only one winner. GG's, buddy. Good friend of the streamers, Vokas. Out and forth. Today, me. For the 50-50. And we are three remaining. 2.9k. 3.9k. Basically 3k, 4k, 5.5k, isn't it? And it's very much this guy versus us two. Great distribution for him because obviously the ladder is worth a thousand. And uh, kind of, you know, both of us are trying to chase the ladder. And he has us both aggressively outchipped. I guess I'm betting turn, blindly blind, sure. Why is it so cold in here? What's going on? I will investigate. By the way, I'm playing on the FT and I just walked off in the middle of a hand. Just in the middle of a final hand, final table hand, I just walked off. I don't like a spade. I do not like a spade. Why is there a spade, man? I don't have a spade. And they bet. And all they need is a spade and I lose. <sighs> I do have a straight. But they'd have to check call, check call something lead as a bluff. And their straights fill. I don't know. It's not like I don't have spades to defend. I will simply fold, which is unfortunate. Because I don't like losing the pot. 230k plays, 290k plays, 900k. A little three-handed game here. A little three-handed game of Hold'em. We're playing 19 blinds deep. And we will see a flop in position. Very nice hand to see a flop in position with, isn't it? We do flat some ASEX. Obviously, we jam some ASEX too. My opponent's going to play some shoves at 19 with, like, offsuit ASEX. Maybe some raising in the suited. But also just, like, raising very wide, barreling very wide. So, we may just be locking in. We're, of course, going to see a turn card at the, at the bare minimum. And I think going to hit a lot of bluffs like Queen 3, Jack 3, 10, 3, Queen 5, Jack 5, 10, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, you know, just like very, very bluff heavy, like barrel heavy turn. I don't have much ASX, although I do have some, but we might just be locking in, mate. I'm just hoping he has 10, 5 or 10, 3. That's unfortunate. He has 9-4 offsuit, which is two pairs? Pretty sad. Pretty sad that this is the run out, this is the board. This is the flop. Uh, 2,925 GG's.